Hello, Mr. T with a tutorial on solving matrix equations. As shown on the screen here, we have a matrix equation that we want to solve. We want to find the matrix X that would make this equation true. We will eventually use the graphing calculator to do our operations, but we need to model it as an equation. So we're going to arbitrarily decide to assign this first matrix to matrix A. Ultimately, we'll be entering that in the calculator as matrix A. Now we have matrix X. Subtract. We're going to be calling that matrix B. And we will be putting this into matrix C. Now, like regular algebra, we will be wanting to get this matrix by itself so that we can uh, solve. So to do that we need to add B to the other side to uh, get that. So we're going to add B to both sides of the equation. So now we have AX equals C plus B. Now to get rid of a matrix here we can't divide. There's no div uh, matrix division. So what we're going to do is do sort of the equivalent in numbers of multiplying by the reciprocal. But in this case, for matrices, that's called the inverse matrix of A. So we're going to multiply by the inverse matrix of A. When we place the inverse matrix, we need to put it next to, right adjacent to, the matrix that we are trying to eliminate. Matrix multiplication is not commutative, so since I am multiplying matrix A on the left by the inverse, when I apply the operation to the other side of the equation to keep my equation balanced, I must multiply this entire side by A on the left side again. So I need to put the A inverse here. We can't put the A inverse over here. That will give us a different result. On the left side, A inverse times A, by definition, if you multiply a matrix times its inverse, you get the identity matrix. We can still equal that. And by definition, the identity matrix times X equals X. And again, that equals what we have up here, A inverse times the sum of C plus B. Now that we've decided what we need to calculate, we can now go to the graphing calculator. I've already entered into matrix A our matrix here, matrix over here has been entered in A and I've also entered matrix B and C into the calculator already to save time. So we can go to our calculation window and make this calculation. So second matrix A press the X to the minus one button here to get the inverse times, now we need a parentheses, and now we need to bring in matrix C, so second matrix, and bring in C, the third item, and we're going to add to that matrix B, which is matrix 2, close that parentheses, and press enter. So our solution, as we can see on the calculator screen for matrix X, is a matrix with uh, 11, negative 2, 8, and negative 1.5. Again, if we place that matrix up here in the original equation and multiply those two matrices and subtract it here, we would get this. Again, it makes the equation true. I hope this helps. Thank you.